Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Mongli here. Uh, question for today is a 28-year-old woman who recently delivered a full-term male baby with a neural tube defect. So you need to take a note of neural tube defect in the baby and see complaints of fatigue even on normal routine activities. So take a note of fatigue there. Her physical examination revealed pale conjunctiva. So take a note of pale conjunctiva here. And the blood tests revealed elevated methyl malonic acid. Take a note of methyl malonic acid. And also there is elevated levels of homocysteine. So the question is which one of the following biochemical defect or deficiency may be seen in this woman? Okay, so going with all these uh, things that are given in the case stem, so we have specially taken a note of neural tube defect in a baby and a mother is, is feeling fatigue even on normal routine activities and our conjunctiva is pale which is indicative of anemia, so feeling fatigue even on normal routine activities, pale conjunctiva indicates that she is having anemia means decreased hemoglobin levels. Neural tube defect in the baby indicates that there is a folate deficiency here. Now, blood test revealed elevated methyl malonic acid. So, the methyl malonic acid is elevated along with the homocysteine being elevated here. So, elevation of methyl malonic acid, it indicates a cobalamin deficiency because conversion of methyl melanyl CoA into succinyl CoA, you need deoxyadenosyl cobalamin this is needed for enzyme methyl melanyl coa mutase now the deficiency of cobalamin it means deficiency of deoxyadenosyl cobalamin it there will be decrease in the conversion of methyl melanyl coa into succinyl coa so methyl melanyl acid it will be elevated in the blood why homocysteine is elevated here because conversion of homocysteine into methionin by methylation pathway there. So, you need methyl cobalamin. Now, cobalamin is deficient. If there is a deficiency of cobalamin, so methyl cobalamin is also deficient. It means conversion of homocysteine into methionin by methionin synthase, it will decrease. So, decreased availability of cobalamin here, so it can give rise to trapping of folate folate can be trapped and that in the folate trap what happens normally n5 methyl tetrahydrofolate it will be converted into just tetrahydrofolate by after donating methyl group now even if there is a deficiency of cobalamin so n5 methyl tetrahydrofolate it won't be converted into tetrahydrofolate so if the tetrahydrofolate is not available sufficiently so the other tetrahydrofolate derivatives won't form properly. That leads to folate trap and that is the cause for neural tube defect in this particular baby. So going over all these signs and symptoms, it makes sense to place cobalamin as our best choice or best answer for this particular question. Because neural tube defect is indicative of folate deficiency Fatigue and pale conjunctiva indicating indicative of anemia. Methyl malonic acid and homocysteine together elevation indicate strongly indicates cobalamin deficiency. So the deficiency of cobalamin as as I explained it can lead to neural tube defect. So overall cobalamin deficiency here leading to megaloblastic anemia, methyl malonic acidemia in this particular case. Now just briefly going over other choices, pyridoxine. Pyridoxine deficiency will give rise to microcytic hypochromic anemia, but you don't see neural tube defect or increased, uh, sorry, neural tube defect there are increased levels of methyl malonic acid. Cystothionine beta synthase deficiency or defect will give rise to homocystinemia, but it doesn't give rise to methyl malonic acid or neural tube defect there. Folic acid deficiency can give rise to neural tube defect and increase in homocysteine level but it doesn't give rise to elevated levels of methyl malonic acid so that is not a choice here. Now iron deficiency. Iron deficiency leads to microcytic hypochromic anemia but it doesn't associate with homocysteine or 
neural tube defect or methyl malonic acid level dihydrofolate reductase enzyme deficiency leads to deficiency of folic acid or folate that you will give rise to megaloblastic anemia elevated levels of homocysteine but it doesn't give rise to elevated levels of methyl malonic acid so that takes away as a choice now the thiamine pyrophosphate that is a active form of thiamine it is not, not directly connected to anemia increased levels of homocysteine or methyl malonic acid here so clearly it is not a choice here so ruling out all the other choices so we are squaring in on one best choice and that is cobalamin so cobalamin is a best answer here now if you want to know more about methionine metabolism homocysteine metabolism and different types of homocysteinuria you can uh, follow my uh, previous video so the link for that is appearing as on the right corner right now so this is all about today's question so know about folate trap and the cobalamin deficiency or how to differentiate between cobalamin deficiency and folate deficiency in terms with uh, elevated levels of homocysteine here thanks for watching if you like the video please give thumbs up and to keep in touch with uh, regular updates so consider subscribing to my channel see you again in my other video take care